Hello everybody, this is the Cup Base Games, and welcome back to Crossroad 101. Today we're going to look on how to armor a trucker cabin. It's a rather heavy cabin, uh, uh, of rare rarity, and it focuses around being a heavy weapons carrier. Although in most scenarios, I do want to point out that Jawbreaker is most of the time better, because it's in fact that it's faster, although this one is better in way of heavy w handling heavy weights. Okay. In my opinion, the best thing actually to do with a jawbreaker is carrying a large amount of... We uh, You need a pretty high amount of wheels on this thing. You want to have six, eight of them. In my case, I'll use six. Start out with a two by four. A two, uh, sorry, four wide and then quite long frame. Put four of them, then put the cabin and then put the wheels in front. Then start with some fenders. Like so. Then you can put some kind of hardware in the front, for example a heavy engine. Or something like a radar detector and a cooler. I'll stick with these two. I guess. Weapons themselves, you want to start with two weapons up top. For example, Coxist or auto, for example, like auto cannon. You want to mount them as far to the right as possible, so they only at the uh, at the edge. And they will, with these ones, because they're so large, I mount them slightly more to the middle. After that, you should start getting some kind of wall, like diagonal wall from here to right here in terms of armor. In my case I'll start with a rear door right here to cover up the stuff in the front. As well as some avia panels right here. And then I will start with some armoring using... Actually I'm gonna use these truck doors. Yes, four truck doors. It's gonna be some heavy armor in front. After that, I'll mount some more sl some sloping in the front to make it at least look a bit reasonably good. I mean, not amazing, but I do care a little bit about looks and stuff like that. And meanwhile, I'll put some fenders in the rear. Or should protect that part. Now for the side armor, this thing, the truck is one of the hardest ones to armor uh, in terms of overall armor protection. I will use a two of these two by uh, four by four by one frame uh, armor parts, as well as a smaller two by four by one part. And then I will use fan windows because they're tree high. And pretty much there you have it. This thing is mainly focused on long range combat. For example, making use of some cannons. Power of cannons. Although for this Okay, so I'll have to mount a generator. Generator just mount mounted in the back and armor around it a little bit. For example, I'll put a put some mini fence on. I actually I'm gonna use these long pipe shields because they're lo slightly longer. Put those over there. A rear door right here. And a rear bumper right there. It's good enough. Gives you some base protection. So for the front, I uh, will put a large train plow up front, which will protect the front of armor of this thing. Speed is, as I said, is not as good as I said, just not as good as the uh, jawbreaker. However, it's decent and. You can still work with it. Again, cannon stop mounted. Oop. 
Sadly, because of this thing having 11 energy and the gas generator 3, you can only have maximum of 14 engines, so you can only mount 2 cannons or 2 turret cannons. In my case, I only got these two Avengers, however, if you uh, if you can, you can mount uh, the larger cannons. If you want some sideways protection, put a, up a half wall right here. And then, if you, uh, in this case, you can put some armor over the top, but for the larger ones, you don't really need to. Because those are pretty high, and you won't be able to bolt that high without making the bolt really, like, top-heavy. So, so this should be enough. The plow protects your bottom part, and the large amount of truck doors protects your top part. So it will take a lot, and uh, if you use this thing as a long-range sniper, so basically if you're right here targeting units all the way over there, you they will only be able to shoot at your frontal armor. They won't really be able to shoot at your side or rear armor because if they move, for example, to that point, you will simply just turn a, slide, a small amount and you can shoot again. That's where the truck cabin is the best at, just carrying a lot of heavy armor in the front. Although, again, you have to sacrifice the side or rear armor because of weight issues, for example. Uh, this thing is really a long-range build. Another weapon that fits good with this because of that is the tow launcher. Of course, fire cannon and shoot your missile. This thing can actually take a uh, few of these missile rounds. Three cannon rounds so far, and uh, four cannon rounds. Four cannon rounds, two missiles, five cannon rounds, six cannon rounds, six cannon rounds, and two missiles before they exploded. 1800 uh, health at a power score of 5.5 5 in this case is actually pretty good. Another armor, an armor you could use in this thing is, for example, twin crickets as some kind of rocket artillery. These artillery style vehicles are better against groups, against since uh, because of the inaccuracy, a lot of rockets gonna, a few rockets gonna miss if you're shooting at range targets, especially if they're really far away. I mean, the amount of spread on that thing only makes it really effective against groups, so it's. In this case, you get more of a support weapon or some kind of charge build. So you charge at the enemies that is uh, front of armor, absorb the shots, and then shoot them a lot with the crackets like this. Uh, other guns that will be nice on this style of builds are again turret cannons, it's normal cannons. Uh, auto cannons. You can mount it either on top or behind the cabin. Uh, the artillery gun, uh, missile launch, uh, uh, the uh, normal guided missile launchers. So instead of those ones, it would be work as work as well. Uh, of course, a scorpion pulse accelerator would be an amazing weapon as well because of the raw range fit. Uh, you can also use stuff like the sidekicks. I also su strongly suggest take a take a, uh, for you guys to take a radar or powerful ra uh, or, or a radar detector, as well as a if you need one for sniping a scope. The radio uh, radar detector or active ra uh, so the inactive radars or the radar detectors the ones that are rotate are the non-active ones so they only uh, detection radius is only increased. Well, these ones uh, also increase uh, uh, radio effect, so basically for radio radios, as well as uh, in cover detection radius. Although these ones do e um, need energy, these ones do not. That's be uh, basically in cover means the uh, enemies that you cannot directly see are also detected. Well, the these ones only detect enemies that are in direct vision. Although that's beca uh, mainly because the radio range on your cabin itself is really short, so you 
people can sneak up on you if they have some sneaky builds even though they're in your vision and if you have that radar it won't happen anymore anyway that concludes uh, the guide on how to armor the cabin and i will see you guys all later bye bye